thanks everybody for coming tonight. Uh, I'll do a quick walk around on the car for you to go over some details of the uh, aero package and cooling package. Uh, I have a little more detail in the technical presentation tomorrow, but it's a lot easier to uh, show you on the car than to try to point at it on a screen. Um, so I'll, I'll start with the front end. So um, part, I'll go with the cooling package first. So the engine is car two liter turbo. It's got a front mounted intercooler. So the uh, intercooler is cooled from, from this drill here. The center part is for is the radiator cooling drill. And this top one, which everybody thinks, oh, that's the air intake for, for the engine. It's not air intake for the engine. It's just it's cooling air intake for the whole engine bay. Uh, it also does have some aero function too because we're pulling air through there and then uh, exiting it out the bottom of the car and the, and the side of the car. It does actually have some drag reduction into it as well. Also part of the cooling package for the brakes, we got these nice big Brembo brakes on the front, uh, uh, four pistons up front uh, and slider rotors. Uh, to get cooling air to that, and it's something that it, it's not really easy to see, but there's actually um, brake cooling ducts right under here um, between the splitter and the, and the bumper, so that they feed into the, uh, in behind the wheels to add, add cooling um, air to the wheels. And then also we have these on the outboards of the front uh, bumper as well. We have these vertical ducts that feed air uh, to the, help feed air to the brakes too and the other main function for them is to start to generate an air curtain over the wheels and there's some more functions to go with that in the aero package so uh, as i mentioned we've got um, a front splitter also the front bumper is very aerodynamically designed these are both to contribute to uh, to reduce lift or actually provide downforce in the front end going along the sides of the cars we've got winglets on the outer ends of the front splitter and they're pretty cool because they've actually got a channel in them that else that pulls air in and it kicks it up. A couple of functions here is again creating creating an air curtain over the wheels, so we want to get air flowing uh, along the side of the car. And also with the kick up and the channel, it's actually providing downforce there, so you actually get downforce from the side of the car as well. That continues along the side skirts of the car. You can see the rockers bulge out and the side skirts bulge out and they also besides you know keeping air from getting underneath the car uh, they also uh, add downforce to the car and then we've got at the tail end we have another kick up um, right in front of the rear wheels and again it's channeled um, which is serving both functions of creating air curtain over the rear wheels and also adding helping to add down downforce uh, kind of hard to miss the giant rear wing on this car um, it's there also to provide downforce to the car at speed. And one of the things that the team uh, enhanced on the car through aerodynamic testing was they added, we're calling them vortex generators. Basically these little nubs on the roof are, instead of having the air come off smoothly and just fly off the back of the car, we actually want to drag the air down uh, the back of the windshield and channel it over the wing to get more air over the wing to get more downforce out of it.